This tutorial illustrates how to place conditionally shown UI elements in a HandyBase and HandyBase Forms version 4. We'll first start by creating a form associated with an existing database. In this case, we'll use a database titled Grocery. Once HandyBase Forms is open, we'll first start by creating a new form titled Grocery. To do this, click the New button in the bottom of the form browser window. The next step will be to place labels that correspond with each of the fields in the database. You can see that the process for doing this is pretty straightforward. Start by clicking the A button in the toolbar then clicking in the position where you would like the labels to be. While the label is still selected, in the Labels Detail window, select the data source to match the field, and then select the caption source to match the field name. We'll repeat this process to make sure that we have labels for each of the fields in the database. Once each of the labels are created, the next step will be to place UI elements for the actual data entry. We'll start by adding text box and a check box for the purchase item. Be sure to make sure that the data source for each of the items matches the field that the data source for the label matches as well. For example, when entering the checkbox UI element, make sure that the data source in the checkbox details window matches the purchase field. Be sure to double check the data source for each of the UI elements. Once all of the UI elements are placed, it'll be time to set the attributes for the quantity and category labels and text boxes. We'll start by selecting each of the items and then selecting the attributes tab. On the attributes tab, we'll click on the text box by visible and set the value to equal conditionally. Once this value is set to conditionally, we'll set the if field has non-zero value pop-up list to the checkbox value. The checkbox value in this case is purchase. If the purchase box is clicked, then the quantity and category labels and text boxes will be available to be filled in. If the purchase box is left unchecked, these items will remain invisible when entering data or editing an existing record in the database. We'll repeat this process of making sure that each of these items are conditionally visible and can, that this is based on the purchase field being a non-zero value. For additional support please contact DDH Software at support at DDHsoftware.com.